Hello and welcome back to biology. How we're going to look at binomial nomenclature and this is all about scientific names. Uh, so why should we have scientific names? Why should we give animals or plants or any organism scientific name? W what is the need of that? I'm going to give you an example just to see why we should do that. Look at this cutie cat. Uh, the cat, if you uh, just think about its name, it has so many different names in every country, has different names. So, if you are speaking about any organism, any animal like a cat, and in your country it has a name, in another country it has another name. So, if you're speaking about it, uh, people in other countries would not understand what you are speaking about. Uh, so... Scientists came up with a solution. We said we should have a scientific name, and this scientific name is binomial. Uh, it, it it means it has two parts. Bi means two. So this scientific name is made of two two parts. So what are these two parts? These two parts are the uh, genus and the species. And species is a group of organisms which uh, can reproduce to produce a fertile offspring. And this sometimes can be tricky because look, uh, if you look at the wolf, uh, it looks like a dog. But actually they are different species because uh, they look, maybe have some similarities. They are close to each other, but they cannot reproduce and have fertile offspring just by themselves very nearly uh, happens naturally they cannot so they are different species now if we want to look for the scientific name of any organism uh, we're going for example here we have humans so you you man scientific name what is the scientific name of us humans uh, if we use the uh, binomial nomenclature this uh, the system has seven levels, so we are going to classify an organism from big, then we'll go down, down to smaller, smaller, to more specific. So from big and general to small and specific, we'll start from big groups to smaller until we go to the most specific things about this creature or organism. So. Uh, we have seven levels, so the biggest group in which we can classify anything is kingdom. So, humans, we belong to the kingdom of animals. So, we do not belong to plants or bacteria. We are simply, be uh, we belong to the animal kingdom. And which phel phelum we belong to is a uh, chordata, that is uh, uh, animals with backbone, which is Date. So the class is mammalia and that is mammals because we are not reptiles, we're not amphibians or fish, we are mammals. So the order is primates, we're not carnivores or other animals, so primates and the family is hominids and the genus is homo and the species is sapiens. So humans, our uh, kingdom is animal our genus is homo our species is uh, sapien so the scientific name of humans is homo sapiens we said the scientific name is made of the genus and species but what is the right name of writing the scientific name so there are some rules of writing scientific names. The rules of si writing scientific names, and this is what you need to know, is the first letter, the first letter of the genus is always capital, capital. The first letter of the species is never capital. And the scientific name is written, uh, is italicized, is written like this not straight uh, letters like these they should be like sleeping or bending a little bit so if I, I give you examples here and you tell me which one is the correct way of writing the scientific name so here homo sapien this homo sapien 
and this is Homo sapiens. But what, what is the right name? What is the right way of writing scientific names? So if we look at this, the first letter of the genus is capital. So yeah, as we said, but the first letter of the species is capital. So this is not the right way of writing the scientific name. Let's look at this one. The first letter of the genus is capital and the first letter of the species capital that's right but the letters are not italicized they are not written like these bending a little a little bit so this one the last one this is not the, the correct way of writing scientific name this one yes look the first letter of the genus is capital and the first letter of the species is small and it is written it uh, it is italicized it's not like straight uh, letters so this is the right way of writing scientific name and if you are writing scientific name with your hands then you need to underline the scientific name which you are writing and uh, this is what you should know about scientific names and that is it for this video uh, and until the next video ciao